So, I have something very important that I want to tell you guys. I am addicted to playing Valorant. <coughs> Alright, I know, I know, but hear me out, okay? After seeing some famous streamers like Farting Glitter, Kaide, and Shoto play the game, I wanted to give it a shot too, and I have a love-hate relationship with this game. Although I do have my times where I really do enjoy the game, there are times where I get so frustrated with it that I want to smash my head against a wall. For those of you that don't know, Valorant is a first-person shooting game that was made by Riot Games. There are multiple characters with unique abilities and multiple gun skins and game modes to choose from. But because of the love-hate relationship I have with this game, I thought, hmm, what could I do to combine this game into my next video? And so I created a Valorant drawing challenge. I'm going to roll four different numbers on a random number generator, and whatever number I get and whatever character I eliminate on that number, I have to draw them. For example, if I rolled a number four, when I join a game and get a fourth kill, the character that I killed will be the one that I have to draw. So it'll kind of be random, but I thought that it would be a good idea to challenge myself. Now that I think about it, it really does rely on the opposing team. So let's go ahead and pull up the part where I rolled the four numbers. So the numbers that I got were 12, 6, 10, and 17. So my original plan was that I would have my Valorant play screen recorded so that, you know, I could show you guys how I got each character. However, the footage just decided to yeet itself into a void because when my three characters were picked out, I checked on the status of the footage on OBS and it wasn't recording. The only thing that I can show is the notepad that I had used at the time to show each character that I killed each time. So you guys are going to have to take my word for it, please. <laughs> so the first character that I got was Reina, also known as Sianya Mondragon. That is actually her real name. Reina is actually the Spanish word for queen or empress. She is estimated to be around 25 to 30 years old, she has a younger sister named Lucia, and she is a duelist from Mexico. For those of you that don't know, in Valorant, all of the agents are divided into four categories depending on their abilities and how they help their team. There are the duelists, who are the offensive players who are often top fragging, getting the most kills, and are often at the front of a group when they attack the enemies. There are the sentinels, who are the more defensive players, who often lock down areas for their group and set up traps to watch their team's flank when they are attacking. There are the initiators who challenge angles, set up attacks, and they can detect enemies in their hiding spots. And finally, there are the controllers. The controllers are the ones who can slow down or delay the enemy players in a match. There are walls or even smokes that can be used to give your team an opportunity to be on the offensive side. And for those of you that are curious, my mains are either Sova or Fade. Because I don't have the confidence to be a duelist. So as for Reyna, Reyna is seen with dark hair with her ends dyed a hot pink color. She is seen in her art and in-game with a bodysuit. This bodysuit is purple, black with a few lines and diamonds of gold. On her left arm, she has these tattoos that are usually a dark color, but when she uses her abilities, they turn a bright pink, so I wanted to add that to this drawing. For this drawing and for the other characters I drew as well, I tried to draw them in the poses that they're usually seen in with their agent art. The only difference I made was that I drew Reyna using a soul orb. For those of you that don't know, one of Reyna's abilities in game is that she can throw out a soul orb. I want to say that it's very similar to a flash, but I don't think it is. When Reyna throws out this orb, it can temporarily blind the enemies and not see anything in front of them. However, the enemies can shoot this orb, which can cause the flash to go away. I drew Reyna with long black nails. I know that in the fifth cinematic that came out in 2022, she is seen with long black nails, compared to her design in-game, so I wanted to add that to this drawing. 
I think the parts where I had the most fun were doing the pink in her hair, her tattoos, and the soul orb. Looking at the drawing now, I think I put the soul orb on the wrong arm because she uses her abilities on her left, but it's alright, shh, we are just going to continue. I think that I drew Reyna pretty accurately, so here is the finished piece. Let me know what you guys think. The next character that I got for round two was Viper. Viper is actually one of my favorites. Not one of my mains, but one of my favorites. Viper's real name is actually Sabine Callis, and I didn't know that. How cool is that? Viper is estimated to be around 30 to 35 years old. She is a controller, and she is a well-known scientist from the United States. Before we continue, can we talk about this line that the wiki pulls up when we get to her personality type? Like right at the beginning, it says this, and I quote, Viper is a savage and confident agent who doesn't fear enemies and in fact desires the enemies' fear. She does not hesitate to call herself a villain and a monster, and will act like both if it means the success of her objective. Just like her abilities, she can be quite, and I quote, toxic. However, she is seen being more amiable, I hope I pronounced that right, and caring towards her teammates but she will not hesitate to reprimand them harshly should they make major miscalculations in the battlefield. Like, damn, I felt intimidated just reading this. Jesus. <laughs> so back to Viper. She is seen with short black hair and bright green eyes. She also has this mask over her face, and when she uses her ultimate ability, she can put out a chemical cloud in an area that can shorten the enemy's range of sight. In that situation, the mask actually will turn into a gas mask that will go over her whole head. She is seen wearing a black bodysuit with different shades of green, and she has black shoulder plates that curve and stick out. There is a belt that wraps around her waist, and she has these specialized gloves that can emit these toxins. I drew her in the pose that she is often seen in, except I drew her with both her hands out, emitting these toxins from her hands. Something that I would also like to mention is that whoever makes the art for Valorant, whether if it's under one person or multiple character designers, they really know how to use color. Like, <laughs> like something that I wanted to clarify before I continue is that I obviously know that these are professional artists. I am not a professional artist at all, and sometimes I don't think my opinion really matters in a lot of situations, but I just like how if you look at the actual art that appears in the like agent tab for Viper, she does have the different shades of green and black, but they also added highlights of purple. Like you can very, you, you can see it in like a few places like here and here, but I also added those highlights to the drawing as well and it definitely made the drawing pop out more and this was a new learning experience, honestly. And this was also such an interesting detail to find out. So here's the finished drawing, let me know what you guys think. The third agent that I got was Sky. Sky is estimated to be around 30 to 35 years old. Her real name is Kira Foster, and she is a initiator from Australia. It actually says that she's from Nimbin, Australia. I hope I pronounced that right. So Sky wears a green headband with earrings and gloves. She wears a green tank top with cargo pants, and underneath her tank top, she is wearing a black vest of body armor. She wears knee pads, boots, and she has a utility belt on her hips. They didn't mention this in the wiki, but she also has this arm sleeve on her arm with a green and brown bracelet. I like how they use the different variations of green on her clothes, and it's very well evened out. I also think that her bright orange hair really ties everything together. So I drew her with the outfit she is mainly seen in, and I of course had to give her, you know, big muscly arms. Anyways, I also drew her hawk on her right arm. So this hawk that you see here is actually an ability that Sky uses in game. It's called Guiding Light. With Guiding Light, uh, when Sky uses this ability, she can release a hawk that can cause a temporary flash. When I added all of the hawk's colors, it was so much fun. They have a lot of bright colors and a lot of layers, and I like seeing how everything came together. Lastly, the wiki also didn't mention this, but she also has a eyebrow piercing, so I added that to the drawing as well. So here is the final piece, and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. 
So we are now at the final agent. If you actually look at the notepad, I actually got Sky again, but I wanted to see if I could get another kill and if that character would be different. And the character that I got was Neon. So it looks like we're drawing Neon. So Neon is the first Filipina character to be released in this game. But before I explain my process, let's dive into Neon's character. So not only is Neon the first Filipina character in Valorant to be released, she is actually the youngest agent in Valorant, estimated to be around 15 to 20 years old. Neon's real name is Tala Nicole de Mapi Vardes. She was born and raised in Manila, Philippines, and she is a duelist. Also, if I'm mispronouncing anything, please let me know. It would be very much appreciated. Thank you. So as for her attire, it looks like she's wearing something similar to sportswear. She's mainly wearing a blue crop top shirt or vest with black and blue leggings and tennis shoes. Her hair is a bit short and she wears her hair half up half down with two pigtails coming out. Her hair is a bright blue color in her uh, agent art with bright streaks of yellow, so I applied that to the drawing. She also has a very pretty brown skin tone and I applied a little blush to her face. She has a purple colored vest or shirt underneath her crop top and she also has a golden suit that wraps around her chest to her back. And surprisingly, this wasn't mentioned in the wiki. If I'm going to be honest, there are some character details that aren't mentioned on the character's wiki, and I had the same problem with the other agents I drew as well. It would be the same scenario where I would research into a character with a very detailed outfit or facial features, but their descriptions would be very vague. But anyways, you know, it's alright. You want to know why? Because we persevere. I gave her her brown eyes, her blue and purple belt, and her purple bag with her squid buddy. She also has these gray markings on her face and on her shoulders. As for the highlights, I gave her yellow and light blue highlights and I added a glow to certain parts of her suit because when she uses her abilities, those parts can light up. Doing her line art was honestly so much fun. I love drawing out her hair, her eyes, and finalizing her pose so that it looked more polished and energetic. So here's the final result, and I think this drawing is actually my favorite out of all four. Let me know what you guys think. So here are all of the four characters that I drew. If you guys have a favorite or if you guys would like a part two, then please let me know in the comments. Also, if there's anyone who's watching that plays Valorant, please feel free to let me know who's your main. I hope that you guys liked this video, and if you enjoyed it, you could, you know, click that little subscribe button to hear more from me. I hope that you all are having an amazing day, that you stay hydrated, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!